Unit One, Reading, Exercise Two. Crazy Crazes, an interview with Miley Jones, an expert on the history of crazes. How do crazes start? Well, crazes generally start in the playground when we're young. We see someone doing something fun, and obviously we want to join them. What was the strangest craze? Pole sitting, probably. In 1924, Alvin Kelly sat on a pole for 13 hours. Amazingly, it became popular, and people used to watch the best pole sitters. The record was 21 days. How do current crazes differ from past crazes? Things like toys and card collecting used to be popular. Now, crazes often start online when people see and copy funny ideas for photos or videos on social media. Is that how crazes become so popular quickly? Absolutely, things can quickly become a craze. Before, people didn't used to have smartphones. But now we can post online game scores or photos immediately. What's your favourite craze? Pet rocks. In the 1970s, Gary Dahl started selling a pet rock in a special box with instructions. Did people really used to buy pet rocks? Yes, they did. Apparently, he sold millions of them. No one really knows what the next craze will be. Unit one, vocabulary and listening, exercise two. Top half. Blouse, hat, jacket, shirt, scarf. Bottom half. Shorts, trainers, skirt, leggings, trousers. Adjectives. Baggy, colorful, indigo, patterned, knee length. Unit one, vocabulary and listening, exercises four and five. Hi Sam, I thought you were in Sapa. When did you come back? I came back yesterday. I loved the photos you posted. What were you doing in Sapa? We were visiting my dad for a couple of weeks. He's working there for six months. Check out this photo. Wow, those clothes are so strange. Did you make friends with these people? No, I was walking down the path with my sister when we saw them. They saw my Manchester United shirt, and they said a few words in English about football. So we started talking to them. What did you talk about? Well, see the boy in the baggy trousers, a long jacket, and a black shirt. His name was Jang Ai Po, and he was really into football. So we talked about Vietnamese footballers. While I was talking to him, my sister was learning some Vietnamese words from the girls. The girls were wearing long indigo blouses over knee-length shorts. My sister thought their clothes were really eco-friendly. Unit One, speaking, exercises one and two. Hi, Sammy. Oh, hi, Hugo. Those are cool trousers. Really? I think they're a bit baggy. They're supposed to be like that. I bought a pair like that a few weeks ago, and they're so comfortable. They look really good.、Mm, maybe I'll buy them then. That's an interesting shirt you're wearing. It's not really my style, but I'm going to a wedding next week, and Mum wants me to wear something smart. What do you think of this one? That's better. It's expensive, though. You're right, it is. But your mum does want you to look smart. True. Why don't I try it on and then decide? Unit one, speaking. Exercise four. One, blue. Two, look. Three, c 
cool. Four, shoes. Five, good. Six, suit. Unit two, vocabulary. Exercise two. Hearing. Sound. Tone deafness. Have a good ear. Listen. Sight. Look. Color blindness. See. Watch. Touch. Feel. Hold. Losing sensation. Unit two, vocabulary, exercise four. One. Alicia. What are your favourite sounds, Alicia? My favourite sounds. Um. My favourite sounds are the sounds of the countryside. Oh yes, and the sounds of the sea. It's very relaxing. It reminds me of holidays. Two. Emma. Emma, what smells do you really like? Breakfast smells. I love the smell of coffee in the morning, and toast. They're both great morning smells. Three. Will. Will, are there any smells that you dislike? Um. Yes. Hospital. I was in hospital once, and I hated the smells in there. Oh, and I can't stand the smell of our school canteen. It always smells like old vegetables. Four. Paul. Paul, is there anything that makes you feel happy when you see it? Yes, I've got a photo of my wife and kids in my wallet. I like looking at that and having it close. Five. Zara. Is there anything that you don't like looking at, Zara? Yes, that's easy. I can't stand the sight of blood. It reminds me of the time I fell off my bike and I hurt my leg.